Hey guys, so before the video starts, I do want to say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it, and um, thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's get into your video. Hey guys, today we are going to be installing iOS 6 on the iPhone 4S and iPad 2. Let's get started. you will need an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2. For the iPad 2, it cannot be a 2,4 model or um, technically a mid-2012 model. Um, and the second thing you're going to need is a computer, um, preferably a Windows computer, capable of running th a program called 3U Tools and iTunes. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is jailbreak our forest. So in order to do this, you're gonna have to download one app called 3U Tools, the latest version, and you're going to have to get, um, and you're going to have to get iTunes. You can download both of those from the website, from my website, which is linked down in the description. So plug in your iPhone 4S, if it comes up with the trust thing, make sure you say trust. Um, so do not use, you are going to need to use the latest version of 3U Tools. So let me find it right here. So let me just launch that real quick. All right. So you can see now it says connecting device and it is connected now. So now you're going to hit, we're going to hit jailbreak. Um, and then you're going to need to do the Phoenix jailbreak. It doesn't matter if you're on 9.3.5 or 9.3.6. This jailbreak on wor will work on either version. So hit, simply hit start jailbreak. And then you're going to see it's going to come up. Now it's going to say generating installation package. Here you're going to enter in your, enter in your Apple ID and your password. Now this will not actually be saved. This is just so it can make um, a package file for your for Phoenix jail for the Phoenix jailbreak app. So it might take a couple Apple ID tries for me it to, I needed to use a different Apple ID but once I got it working it worked. So if you have 2FA set up you will you might need to get a code which I do have 2FA set up but I'm um, I already have done this previously. So if you've done this previously, it won't ask you again for your 2FA. So just the process shouldn't take too long, but once it has completed, um, then we are going to need to install the jailbreak. All right, so now you can see on our 4S, you can see the it came up. So you're going to simply trust the, you're going to trust the developer and then you're going to launch in to the Phoenix Jailbreak app. You're going to hit prepare for jailbreak, accept, and you're going to hit proceed with jailbreak and begin installation. Hit use provided offsets. All right, so once your device is restarted, you're going to click on, I'm going to dismiss that, you're going to click on Cydia. Now your device is jailbroken. You're going to go to sources. You're gonna hit edit, add, and then you're going to type in repo. dot t i h m s t a r. dot com or dot sorry dot net, and hit hit add source. Sometimes it will say refreshing data. Anyway, hit return to Cydia, hit ignore. And now you can see the Themistar repo beta. Hit all, and then you are going to want to scroll down till you see KDFU app. Hit install and confirm. 
Now it's going to load through this little menu. It, you can see it kind of looks like code, um, but it's not actually code. It's just kind of the, just the way it looks, basically. All right, now it says return to Cydia, just return. Now we could go to our home screen, hit KDFU app. Now you can see this little menu is going to be all loaded up. Check all the boxes. Hit fine, pwn. Now you are going to want to hit the green button that says enter KDFU. So I'll show you what it looks like on the phone when you do it. And you can see it looks like the phone died, but really it's in KDFU mode. Alright, now what we want to do is connect it to our computer. Now you can see it on 3U tools, and now it's trying to load up iTunes. Cl just cl simply close, or you know. Simply close iTunes. Now you're going to want to go to the website to back on my website, and you're going to want to find the older version of 3U Tools. Download and install that on your Windows machine, and then you are going to want to also download the i um the IPSW for your specific device. So if you have an iPhone 4 4S, you're going to download the iPhone 4 comma one file. If you have an iPad 2 without Wi-Fi. You're going to figure have to download the iPad to come on file, and so on and so on. So launch the older version of 3U Tools. So launch the older version of 3U Tools. I already have it downloaded, but um, so I'm just gonna. I don't really have to worry about downloading it. So now you can see it says. Um, all connected. You see product type 4 comma 1. That's also how you figure out what your device is. Go to Flash Jailbreak. Go to Pro Flash and hit Import Firmware. Now import that I IPSW file you just downloaded from my website. Hit Open and then you can have it on Quick Flash mode and then just simply hit Flash. You can see it's going to say Enter KDF. Are you already in KDFU mode? Hit flash and we anyway. Now you now this is gonna be a while. So so we're just gonna uh, uh, stop. Alright, iTunes, ignore it. You're probably gonna wanna check the close iTunes box. And as you can see now, we are on our way to iOS six. Now that the restore is done, let's set up our iOS 6 iPhone 4S. If you did have the activation lock or logged in on your previous iPhone, um, then you're going to have to go and enter in your Apple ID for that. So we're going to just skip. Agree. We will use Siri. We're not going to send diagnostics. And let's start using our iPhone. And boom, there you go, guys. That is how to downgrade your iPhone 4S to iOS 6.1.3. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys again so much for 100 subscribers. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.